Oh. Not even like potentially a relevant character or just like a good character. This was like this was banned one. Uh, recently, it was like Pokemon Trainer. They're just like gone. that's so funny. Actually, so, um, I think we should do that. Th uh, true. I think we should do that. As Rotating a, as a formats fun thing. is hilarious, but also about the Australian metagame is that they can be a, a, they're a little bit what it feels like at least is that they're a little bit more specialized mm -hmm. if you take into account like Wario all airspeed really good at like specific things and yep. has weaknesses in specific areas Young Link same thing Sephiroth mm -hmm. same thing it's so facing off against that level of speciality against uh, Dill who's much more of a generous kind of playstyle she does everything well it can be a really interesting kind of dynamic. Yeah, and I can already see that coming into this first game right here. We're on TNT platform list right now, but Didi has a really good lead on Dill right now. And there it is, the jetpacker taking that, that first off from Dill. And Didi only at 20% now after healing. Yeah, just absolutely swarming Rob's big body despite mm -hmm. the despite the angry face that Dill is putting on. It's just so hard to keep Wario out sometimes from just finding that one good hit, and yep. any hit could do it. Any hit at all, you're absolutely right. And here we go. Dill, Dill's a very defensive player. We've seen uh, how defensive Rob, her Rob can absolutely be. But D-Dog, D-D-Dog, <laughs> D-D is <Hold> just <laughs> going in um, and destroying these defenses that Dill set up, set up for herself. There's a Jawa kind of interrupting D-D's approach, and there's a laser as well. I kind of see, you know, Dill finally getting a little more ad adaptive um, in these games. Yeah, shame she couldn't get anything bigger off that tech chase, but she makes up for it with a with the coverage from that arm rotor dropping so low and co and hitting that mm -hmm. straight up recovery that Wario can sometimes force to be subscribed to just based on how they can adjust their angles. Mm -hmm. Can we go? Didi's absolutely just wrecking right now. I I, I love it. I love the place how the user the, the Australian crew has uh, has showed us throughout the stream. We've seen all three of them at, at so far, and they're so aggressive. I've noticed, and I love it. They don't. They don't um, subscribe to our typical, I guess, prefer like a more range style. We do tend to do that, but they're just so up close in your face and so personal about it. Yeah, they're all looking to get in. They're all mm -hmm. looking to like f enforce their game plan rather than just use their game yep. plan. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's a, it, it's a slight difference in nomenclature, but it makes so much of a difference depending on like how you approach the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent uh, use of the of the uh, the bite to, to interrupt those recovery. Love that, love that. A little bit of healing as well at the same time. Gyro in hand, and the bike as well. Dill cannot catch no a break. No gas, unfortunately. No gas. Yeah, she mm -mm. every time Dill was doing like grab ledge, drop down, double jump, or drop down a burner into like a fair or something, and oh, Didi was just charged. using that bike time and time again to burn away all of that fuel. Mm -hmm. Looking to burn away this last stock if they're able to find yes. the wolf. There yes, it is. I was. I saw the intro. I was like, this is something that Gluto does all the time. Yep. I saw it. I saw the vision. I saw the start. I saw the middle, and I saw the end. Oh my goodness! And it was executed perfectly. We can see a little run back right now. Beautiful, beautiful into the wall, fully charged, holding right. Yep, that's beautiful. Let me do that. Let me see that last stock again. Uh, production just one last time because we're gonna look at this position which is so good for Wario, uh, because they're able to travel so fast. Like, this is the startup of Nair right here. Like, this Nair starts so high up, but because Wario can be so fast and because mm -hmm. Wario can cover so much distance just natively with raw attributes, yep. he could potentially drop from a like, multitude of different angles depending on what, uh, what DD was trying to do given the circumstance. In this case, it's like, well, I'm at... Still have two stocks, a decent amount of rage, 31%. That's death percent. Holds straight in, calls out what uh, what Dill does as a uh, potentially anti-air option, and closes out the stock just like that. Mm -hmm. The Wario effect. The Wario effect. So good. Such such amazing display of, again, that specialty with that character, you yeah. know, and knowing what works at what percentage. Now we're kind of picking over to, um, to FD, Dil, uh, DD's bands being PS2 and Small Battlefield, and this is the stage that Dil has opted to go to. No platforms uh, available to either character, so we should be seeing a really... I think this really is going to favor DD's aggressive playstyle a lot, because you have nowhere to really run. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see a lot of those situations that Dill ended up dropping her stock to at the yep. very end of Game 1. So if you're on Dill, you're thinking, okay, if this is the game plan that he wants to do time and time again, then I'll focus more on my anti-airs, and you've got nowhere to go. <gasps> the last, the one, the last, the last, second to Whoa. last hit. Whoa! <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, I need an instant replay of that. I mean, I think Diddy's going to be able to kind of clean up really quickly here. If he's able to keep Dill off on the stage as he did in that game one. But wow, that was his unfortunate uh, situation for his first stock. I love the safety there from Dill. Sometimes you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. You just have to take it and run. And mm -hmm. she's certainly doing that with 72%. This isn't going to cause up stock quite yet. Rob certainly got a little bit of weight on those mm -hmm. aluminum bones of his. <laughs> that, little, that little toy plastic he has. <laughs> Okay, nice, nice job, Gyro. Do two of them. In fact, can we do a third one? We can, but Doe's going to rightfully shine right through it. But there's that back air to like, clear it out really nice and easy. It's so difficult to play around Wario in the corner sometimes. You just He's able to drift so far back that he, despite the f numbers not being wholly in Wario's favor always, the drift really makes it that much tougher. Oh, trying to go in, uh, interestingly deep there with a Wario dare, but... <gasps> the reflect of the side B coming in, and that's a death! Just from, from your own bike. Why did she think of that? <laughs> Why did she think but, of but, that in the moment? <laughs> that, was, that was insane. Like, if I side you right now, I think she was actually, I think she might have been trying to grab, like, uh, catch his, his jump in, actually, Maybe. with the side B, but. <laughs> At the very least, it's a, hey, respect my space. Like, I, I've got this big body and I'm going to use it, goddammit. Mm -hmm. I have this big body, I have this reflector that everyone forgets that I have, and I'm going to use it. So here we go, Dill has a really amazing lead against Didi, um, almost lapping in percentage actually. And Didi, I think, is struggling right now to, to get the, that aggression he was looking for in that first game. Um, yeah. Yeah, just getting like out hitbox in a lot of these ways. As much as Wario can zoom around you like over and over mm -hmm. and over again, uh, he is putting his own body at Rick's risk whenever they press a button. And Didi's feeling the harshness of that, especially when going up against Rob's quick fair and massive nair. All right, Dill coming up. in with that really high recovery. Very few, seldom can uh, characters actually can test her, but she does opt for those uh, those high recovery options. A little bit of stalling as well. Ooh, try going for a really hard read with the fort with the forward smash, but Dill's gonna be able to punish that very easily. Let's see. Oh, nice. Oh wow, yeah, the max rage just doing enough in order to close out the stock. Drop down, uh, dropping down with the arm rotor at 170. A throw should close out the stocks here. Yep. Stock here, but this is also full waft territory with max rage. So. Still cannot rest on her laurels quite yet. You still no. need to earn that throw. You still need to earn that stock at the very end and of the day. And there it is. Nair. Yep. Just Nair. The, Nair. If I had a nickel for every time I see Nair just raw kill today, I've had two, I'll have two nickels. Which is, that's, that's, you know. It's weird. Yeah. That happened twice. <laughs> it's not much, but it happened twice. It's not a lot, but it happened twice. And I mean, In just, one day. Just look at this. <laughs> Look at the size of this hitbox. And I believe it starts in the back as well, correct? Yeah, so it works. It's like behind him. Back. It starts up here and covers all of all this of space. space. And the problem with like being at 188 with Max Rage and a Waft and you're like, okay, this is it. This is my time. But the, uh, the way that, yes, DD can be very like hyper-focused and hyper-specialized yep. and get uh, supremely rewarded off of that. But Dill's jack of all trades nature. It's like, all right, I'll play the Nair game. I'll play the Nair gyro game for as long as I need mm -hmm. to to win this game. She did it all the way to 188 until the stock was closed Better out. Better a jack of all trades than a master of none. Truly. Let's. I read. What is it? Jack. Jack of all trades, master of none. But better than but, master but, of but, one. But, but better than. Uh, master of one, or whatever the full saying is. There's a something rhyme like in there. There's a rhyme. None, it's, it's like none and one and yeah. something like that. But either way, we're seeing that that like battle um, of play styles come out right now on now on the TNC. Back to back to the where DD won game one. So mm -hmm. Dill just kind of adapting from it. Unfortunately, not able to get a combo off that throw there, Mont. But I don't know. It feels like DD is just so at home in this environment, Mont. Oh my god, I, I've seen Didi do that twice now, where he will wait out that expected side B from the stage and just go really low with Warrior recover with Warrior's up B, but knowing that it will in fact carry their opponent in that in those hitboxes, comes back for free. Love it. Love the awareness, love the adaptation, love the character knowledge as well. And I love how Didi plays around with uh, Gyro so effortlessly. Like mm -hmm. able to get multiple extensions, recatches all over the place, taking out one of Dill's, uh, one of Rob's most prominent tools, and one of Dill's best full screen options. Absolutely, I think it, it definitely comes with the territory of also having a bike, a whole bike as an object in your hand. So it's like, oh, gyro. So that will not, oh, that will absolutely be killing actually over on TNT. Um, yeah, now we have no platforms in our disposal. We should, Dill should be able to kind of bring it back. Uh, 
if she's even able to enter this, enter the situation. Oh, this is huge. <laughs> Wait, we love the gyro play. They were trying to find something off that gyro, maybe mm -hmm. into a half waft, which should be online by now. Full waft getting ever so close, ever closer. 156 looking for the spot dodge, but man, DD is just laying on the damage right now. There it is. Oh, nice. All right. Very, very nice. And the waiting out the up smash and just going in with. Um, Going and we're taking Dill all the way to the other side of the stage, but that upper is definitely gonna take it at one. I think it was like 150 before the hit. Rob's carry animation is very funny. <laughs> Sorry, I just see him a little <laughs> chuckle just, there. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was struggling, <laughs> but saying Dill can also kind of be yeah. unless you're able to find something, uh, something worthwhile <laughs> here, just a little bit of damage. Yeah, I just saw the carry mission as well in the replay. That was he's he's struggling. He's made of plastic. Is, is, it is hard. very heavy. <laughs> it's very heavy. <laughs> Wario's so strong. Either way, you saw um, Didi do that. Same thing with with that Nair was trying to get in with um, the commissary. I think just for that WAP as well. But I'm pretty sure he's gonna be waiting to hold it for that last stock for Dill. At 116 should be really easy to. Yep, absolutely. Now we have half. We have full WAP at our disposal. This is full WAP. Moderate percent uh -oh. and an oh, okay. looking for maybe an air dodge there or just mishandling the combo just a little bit. Don't worry, the second starter is messed up because of the, the gyro. gyro. That's so funny. <laughs> the gyro was a third player. It was like, ah, oh, I'm on the way. I'm here. Help is on the way. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, Open by his... coming in in clutch right now, just take it off. the gyro too, so Didi has free reign just to get hit by that forward air. Right, down throw, going for the Green up the air mash. this time. Nice. Excellent, excellent. Reading the match, knowing that um, that up air will be able to take it. Uh, can Again, Dill, has he really, really, really weary of that wah factor? Because uh -oh. guess what? You are at death percentage. Guess you're what? dead, Guess what? Actually. Guess what? You're gone. Guess what? You're, you're gone. You dead. missed that tech? That is all that she wrote. What she wrote was uh, was a DD victory. 2 to 1 here at Xeno. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just tech, uh, uh, actually just rolled towards the edge that she was already at, and I think Didi, would, Didi was safe with that option because he could either have uh, read a tech in place or that roll out into the uh, into that other side of the stage of the platform. And that was perfect. I think I want to see this, this right here. This exemplifies just so much of what makes Wario good. As I'll get the full clip play, and yep. then I'm going to reset. Because what is so good about Wario is the fact that he has every tool that he needs. And he's not the best rushdown character, but he has every tool that he needs to break down defensive habits. Look at how defensive Dill is playing throughout all mm -hmm. of this, right? Like, she did charge gyro down here, double jump Nair, and we saw how big Nair can yep. be covering all this space, retreating to platform. Like, Dill has a lot of defensive options here in order to keep Wario at bay. Yep. But the fact that... Uh, Didi has basically just been playing this zigzag back and forth, like this, this like nebulous kind of ambiguous area. It just, it does just enough to poke and prod and to break down every one of Dill's yep. options until he finds the jump to call out and goes in for the strike. I don't think that's here exactly, but oh no, it is right there. Yep. It was just. I love my little pretty picture, but you got to get rid of that to show just how good DD was at kind of figuring out where Dill's pattern of movement was and eventually finding ways to land big punishes, whether it be off of waft startups yep. or just simple back airs. Mm -hmm. This is the stuff that just took it all. You were yeah. at dead percent. Oh. <laughs> 64, <Goodbye>. huh? <laughs> up there into walk. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. No, no chance. No chance at all. As Absolutely oof. none. Uh, but yeah, that, wow, that was winner semis. Uh, one of the